Hey guys, I just woke up and today I have this very very special phone and that is Yes, we have here the HTC one which is available at Globe. Actually the HTC one is available at plan 1699, but I said in the video it was 1799. So this is just a voiceover because I made a mistake. God damn it. We have this 4.7 inch 1080p Super LCD 3 display which is very very cool. We also have a Snapdragon 600 processor inside along with 2 gigs of RAM and a 32 GB internal storage. So you won't need that micro SD anymore I think since there's no micro SD slot and 32 gig is already a lot. Of course, we have LTE. Unfortunately, I don't have the LTE SIM yet. Yet. A 2.1 megapixel camera on the front. We got a 2.1 megapixel camera in the front. And at the back, we have the 4.1 megapixel which is called camera, which is called as Ultra Pixel. I don't know why they call it as Ultra Pixel. The first time I used the HTC One, I know that it's a flagship. I know it's a beauty, um, sexy crap. It is the best design phone that I have seen in my life. I'm serious, man. I'm serious. Some people said it's ugly. It's a, no, no, it's not. It looks like Blackberry Zeta in a combination of the iPhone 5. It's made up of pure aluminum in here, here, and uh, everywhere. Actually, it's pure aluminum. Uh, the, the feel is almost the same with the MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air, so if you ask me about the pad, it's really sexy. We also have the Beats audio here, but unfortunately, the EATS was removed from some, uh, for some unknown reason. This is just a review unit, so forgive me if there are some scratches. No, I don't think there are scratches, but the Beats audio was removed. So uh, you can remove that when you rub an alcohol, I think, and just rub it off. Uh, I'm not really a fan of having that Beats audio at the back, but it's not laser, it's not edge by laser compared to this one. Anyway, and again, I'll tell you, this is the best smartphone that I've tried ever. Compared to the other Android phones, this one has a home button and the back button. Yes, there are only two buttons for this Android phone. Uh, if you're asking me how to switch apps, so you, need, you just need to double tap the home button. Alright, so I'm sorry about that. Yo. Unfortunately, you can only you can have only nine apps running at the same time. So, but still, it's running if you have ten apps, but it won't be listed in here. This is the re are the recent apps that you have used. Okay, so as you can see in the screen, that is the HTC Blink feed. So you can check out your feeds on Twitter, your Facebook, or even your favorite websites. Yes, just like Flipboard, you can check out almost the highlights of your favorite news or whatever that is I don't know Facebook Twitter but uh, um, some people were disappointed with this one but I'm not I really love the HTC blink feed I give it a pop the pop uh, this is the app drawer of the HTC one so I was expecting that uh, they have more apps the spaces were too big uh, with this with each other so I was expecting that they can have, well, I, ho I hope a software update or s in settings they can update that one and they can change the the grid of these apps, um, maybe a 4 by one, two, three, four. 4 by 4 I think would do, or a 5 by 4 or whatever. And just like the other HTC Android phones, the HTC Sense can drain your battery. Yes, it's like a vacuum that can drain instantly your battery. Actually, I'll show you how much the HTC Sense consume the battery of the HTC One. The HTC Sense can really drain a lot of battery on your phone. If you ask me about the Beats Audio, so it's really great. I'll, I'll give it a 10 thumbs up if I have 10 thumbs. Up, up, up to the highest level. You can turn on or turn off the Beats Audio, so if you turn on the Beats Audio, the bass would be great. Um, I'm not sure about the battery life, if, that can, if the Beats Audio can affect the battery life of the phone, but I think it, can, it, will, it will affect the battery life of the phone, but not that much. Um, I, I recommend this phone for every human being living in this world. There are only a few apps that are pre-installed on the phone, so like this one um, the notes the task oh well 
by the way, uh, I really like the notes because it's con it is connected to the Evernote. So if you write, wrote a note on the, this one, um, you can save it on Evernote. Yes, you can sync your Evernote notes on this note. But still, you can download the Evernote on the Play Store. There's one app that I really, really like on this phone, and that's the TV. Uh, actually, you can use any remote as long as they have an IR blaster. So you can use that one on any TV, actually. So if your TV is not on the list, uh, you just need to set up your remote and your HTC one so that the buttons can be recognized by your TV. Uh, actually, I've been using this one on my Samsung TV. Um, Actually, it's recognized as Sony TV. I'm not sure why. Um, so I, I've used the remote. The Philippines doesn't have the program list. Uh, I don't know, just something like this one. Uh, it's based on the US. So if you're on the setup, so you need to, to choose any of the country and any of the cable. But still, you can use the remote app, which is here. So it's really great. I always lost our remote here in our couch um, so we have the front camera which is a 2.1 megapixel and I don't know why sometimes the phone the front camera of the phone can can record a better videos um, it has a better images I don't know why I don't know don't ask me ask, a ask HTC man HTC is proud that the ultra pixel camera of the phone can capture images even at low light yes it can capture images at low light but I noticed that the images um, they're not really great at low light. Uh, yes, they can shoot at low light with better brightness, but um, the noise is too high. Um, it won't focus that well, and it's really a... It's not really a deal breaker, but I'm not the type of the camera again. The vain Instagram, whatever, Vine, video, whatever. I don't know. But I really didn't like the ultra pixel camera of the phone. But of course, if you're on a well-lit environment, uh, you don't need to worry about the ultra pixel camera of the phone. Um, it can shoot great images, uh, the colors are great, yeah. But uh, I don't know, maybe it's just the low-light camera isn't that good on this one. Oh, yes, 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 before I forgot, yeah, forgot. The performance of the phone, yes, it's a Snapdragon 600, remember that one? I told you that one earlier. Oh yes, before I forgot, um, we have the Snapdragon 600 inside, and it's the fastest processor on the market right now. You can see it on X, the Samsung Galaxy S4 LTE on this one, and other phones. I'm not sure. There are a lot of phones that have been using the Snapdragon 600, so let's check it out on Antutu. I have tested it a while ago, and I got the score of... Drum rolls, please. And we have... 24,700 free, so wow. Of course, the Snapdragon 600 can handle most of your favorite games, like this one from Gale of Wish, the Gangstar 4. Um, basically, it's a game that's just like Grand Theft Auto 4. Well, just on handheld, and it's on Vegas, not on the Liberty CD. It's using the Havoc engine. Yeah, I don't. I didn't experience any lag or crashes on this one. But I'm not, oh, oh my God. What did just what the hell did I did I do? Right. All right. So I'm not sure if you can notice one, but the phone is really fast. Um, I I don't want to play. I don't want to play this anymore. I if you really love the console games, so you should check out Game of because they have a lot of console quality games on their library. Okay, so I think that's it for the HTC one. So oh, that's Instagram. I'm sorry. I think that's it for the Samsung video. Uh, if you have any questions, just comment it. And don't forget to check out JeroManchato.com because I'll be writing a review on this one on our, on my website, of course. Um, don't forget to watch the Big Time Show every Saturday night at 10 p.m. It's bit.ly slash watch BDS. Bye. <laughs>